today's the day! I've been looking forward to this for quite some time, probably since I first started working on the Jane Eyre project at the beginning of the year. I don't even know why I'm so excited to do this review. I just, I have a lot of feelings. Somebody made a musical out of Jane Eyre. Yes, somebody made a musical out of Jane Eyre. Actually, it's been done a couple of times to varying levels of success, and there's also I've been an opera and a ballet and a few other things. But what I'm talking about today is the one that's been probably the most successful, the one that got to Broadway, and that is the Paul Gordon and John Carrad one. Some people will say, I can't believe they made a musical out of Jane Eyre, how's that possible? Musicals, they're all about sparkles and spangles and razzmatazz and big colorful dance numbers and chorus lines. And that is so not Jane Eyre. How can they possibly make a musical out of that? It doesn't make any sense. And if you're basing it on the idea that they can't make a musical out of a big old book like that, it'll never work. Hello. First of all, Look at Lame is one of the most successful musicals in the history of the world. Also, consider all of these other musicals which are based on big old books. So considering all that, I don't think your argument holds up. Sorry! When I was in high school, I was in a huge musicals phase, and I would rent CDs from, like, two different musicals every week. One of those was Jane Eyre. I got the CD, and I listened to it, and I thought, oh, this is pretty, and I really like the harmony, I like these voices, and then I listened to it again, and again, and again, and again, until I learned it. <laughs> My knowledge and reaction to the musical all exists kind of in a vacuum. For the most part, I don't know anybody who has ever even heard of this musical, except for this one roommate that I had in college, who... I don't even know how it came up. We were talking about Jane Eyre, and I was like, well, did you know there's a musical? Or if she mentioned it, and we both found out that we were both fans of it, and we were like, oh, you're the first person I've ever met who's ever heard of it, and you like it too! But beyond that, I don't know whether other people like the musical, how well it was received. Unfortunately, I don't think it was a huge success, and it only was open for a few months, closed in 2001. All I can find of it on YouTube are some clips here, some clips there, and one bootleg performance that was up, and then it was taken off, and then somebody else re-uploaded it, and it's really dark, and kind of all over the place and cuts off the beginning. I would love to be able to give a more accurate review of what the production was like. What I've seen of the show I like, um, the bootleg is of the two original performers, Marla Scheffel and James Barber, and they are excellent. A large part of what I love so much about the musical is that original Broadway cast recording. Her voice is very strong. It's a lower tone, so it's easier for me to sing along with it. She brings to life a lot of things about Jane that I think you would want in a musical portrayal of the character. And James Barber has a very a f a fluidity to his singing and the way their voices flow together, which is very important because there's uh, there are a few duets where they are overlapping each other, and just the ease with which they do it and the pleasantness of the sound is, is really great. Deep in my secret spring of night, I cry his tears, tears, I weather his angry voice, I feel I his fears, his life has infected every wound and every Mystery possess me, and I pray that mercy and will pass me. If you're looking for those big flashy numbers, you're going to be disappointed because the costumes are relatively plain, and it's much more lyrical and plot heavy. I think there are things that I could be critical of, but a lot of it is very subjective and changeable, you know? I could say I don't like this person's voice, but actors change, and I feel like when you're talking about a musical, you're talking about the main layout of the plot and any big changes they make, and the music. You were talking about the score, and I think this score is lovely. I love to sing it, I love to listen to it, 
it has a lot of references to the original. I When I read the book most recently, I was really surprised at how many things there were, how many times I read something that made me think of a lyric from the musical, um, at least the original Broadway cast recording. I know that they changed lyrics before they went into production on Broadway. It includes a lot of the, um, the fanciful banter and the teasing between the two of them. And it's got a gypsy scene. <laughs> I see a man in your future, my dear. Auspicious. But his claims of title and wealth, I fear, are fictitious. You marry the scoundrel, and soon after that, you bear him a child, and then you get fat. Lucky for you, he leaves both of you flat. Dear lady. The bottom line is, I really enjoy it. I want more people to know about it. Maybe someday it'll get a revival. Or there'll be more small productions, because I would really just like to see it. And as usual, I would like to know, what do other people think about it? Do other people love it? Is there anything about it that you wish was different? Did you get to see it? Oh, also on the internet are clips from a Japanese production, which actually looks really good. You should check those out too. Bye! so many reservations about sharing this, but I feel like the best way to show your appreciation for a musical is to sing from the musical! My favorite track on the original Broadway cast recording is Siren's Reprise. This is the scene right after the wedding. Jane is deliberating with herself and with God whether it would be right or wrong for her to stay with Rochester. Do I want to show you a clip of me singing it? Mmm. I'm not comfortable <laughs> with singing in front of people, but you're not in front of me. And the sound quality is terrible, so you won't really be able to tell. <sighs> what can I do? I feel his love. Would I be judged by God above if I were to stay here by his side? Surely there would be no blame if I do not take his name. I'll have his heart, but I'll not be his bride. And we could sail away and get lost at sea, where we could lose ourselves, where we are blind and free. For if sirens call the sailors, he calls to me. The Lord, is this to be my wife? I pray that was the reason for my birth. Is this what you would have me do? Break my sacred vow to you? Destroy the laws of heaven here on earth? What can I do? I feel his love. Would I be judged by God above if I were not there to hear his call? Curse the passion and dim the flame. If I do not take his name, then I cannot take anything at all. Oh, let me